What is up guys? Welcome back for another OU Live today. I know this is coming out on Tuesday uh, instead of Monday, but that's because everything was a little pushed back. And I didn't have my headphones with me, man, and my headphones are a big part of my life, so it kind of like threw me off, you know? Uh, <laughs> I left them at a friend's place like last weekend and I just got them back, so now I'm back in my groove. Now I'm ready to go. Let's do this. I jacked this team from MV, from Lord MV himself. Uh, we've got Scarf Heatran over here, Specs Lapras, which is really cool to see in the tier. Freeze Dry is a really cool move. Uh, I can hit things like Rotom and uh, Slowbro, other uh, bulky waters in the tier, which is really nice. And just having Stab, a Hydro Pump, plus Ice Beam is really cool. A little bit rock weak, but uh, get over that. Uh, we have a Scarf Breloom as well with Force Palm, Bullet Seed, Spore, and Stone Edge, which is an interesting choice over Rock Tomb because of the uh, increased accuracy, the speed drops, and of course, um, the... Um, uh, the technician boost uh, from Bar uh, Berloom, so uh, interesting choice by MV. Of course, it is scarfed, so getting a speed drop doesn't really matter. It makes sense. Uh, we have a uh, standard uh, defensive hip out on uh, Latias with um, uh, Draco Meteor, Thunderbolt, Defog, and Healing Wish, which is really cool for Lapras. And Healing Wish can also come into play with uh, Mega Pidgeot. I just he had Mega Pinsir on this team, and I decided to swap it out for Mega Pidgeot. Uh, because I felt like, this is a workup Mega Pidgeot by the way with U-Turn um, for Momentum. Uh, we have, uh, I'll show you guys right here, Hurricane, Heat Wave, and Workup. Really, really cool set. Uh, can wall break very easily with its immense 135 special attack. I considered Mega Garchomp, uh, but I didn't want another Ice Weakness on the team. Uh, and Mega Garchomp is relatively slow. I wanted to conserve the speed. And what better than a Mega Pidgeot to outspeed pretty much everything? Other than Weavile, of course. Weavile is a little bit of an issue for the team. We'll deal with it as it comes. We do have a Scarf Breloom in the back, so uh, we'll see. But I don't even know if we live an Ice Shard, to be honest. Uh, we'll have to play around that a little bit. But uh, Heatran can do pretty well against Weavile because we are Scarfed. So let's just hop into a game here. Um, <laughs> I have not tested this team out at all. I don't even know where I'm uh, at um, on the ladder these days. Uh, in OU, just because I really only play for recording now. I like other tiers like, um, oh great, this guy, okay, never mind. I thought his name was MV's fangirl. It's EV fangirl. <laughs> I thought he knew the team, like, right off the bat, but anyway, uh, I don't really find my play uh, myself playing OU as much. I'm really more into UU and a couple of other, uh, other metagames on, uh, Showdown, such as Enchanted Items, which is a really cool metagame. So, uh, against my opponent's team, the best lead for me is probably Pidgeot just to get momentum. Uh, if he leads with Deancey, that could be bad though, so maybe Heatran is my best lead. I think, uh, I think just leading Heatran, yeah. Let's see how that uh, works out for us. He leads with Volcarona. Oh, he doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know that we're Stone Edge. Alright, let's see. He's not going to set up on us turn one, that's for sure. So we can probably just overheat here. I uh, should probably bring up a Calc right about now, let's see. Um, I want to see how much this uh, this overheat does to Volcarona from Heatran Scarfed. Uh, OU Choice Scarf with Overheat to Volcarona. Volcarona, Offensive, uh, Burning Tank, uh, not Volcanion. He has a Volcanion too, that's what's uh, throwing me off there. Uh, 62 to 73, so after a Quiver, I don't think it's a 2 hit KO. I'm actually going to go for the Earth Power right here. Uh, as we can see, that does very little, 25%. He goes for a Quiver. We might just lose right here off the bat. <laughs> um... I'm going to go into uh, Hippowdon right here. I'm going to keep my Heatran because it is Scarfed. Uh, if he's a slower variant of Volcarona, I guess we could potentially outspeed, but I don't think so. Uh, we'll see, though. Going to Hippowdon to get uh, the Sand active. He goes for another Quiver Dance. I'm pretty sure a uh, plus two Fire move will be able to take us out at this point. So I'm probably just going to switch back into Heatran at this, uh, right here. And uh, we'll see what he wants to do. He goes for the Fiery Dance, boosts our, uh, with Flash Fire, and we're going to go for the Stone Edge right here as he goes for another Quiver, and he's going to get knocked out by the Stone Edge that connects. There we go. Volcarona is gone. Awesome. All right, so we avoided that terrible situation. Uh, he thought we didn't have a Rock move, but we are Scarfed uh, Heatran, luckily. Thank you, Envy, for this set. Uh, he brings in his Terrakion, Hippowdon walls this thing for days, and then I just go for my Stealth Rocks, and from there it gets a lot easier. He goes for the Stone Edge. That would have done absolutely nothing. I don't care if you're banded. I'm just going to go for my rocks right here. He gets a free switch into his Volcanion. Very nice. Uh, we do have a Lapras in the back, so he might be scared to uh, to steamer up because of it. Uh, I'm curious. Would he go for it right here? I mean, we do resist that. We have pretty good Spadef. Uh, very high HP as well. I don't really want to get burned, but we always, ha we always have Healing Wish in the back, so I think it's just the safest play to go into Lapras. As he actually goes for a Toxic, so interesting right there. Um, I can go for the Freeze Dry right here. Uh, or I can switch into Latias knowing that he is a toxic variant. 
I think I'm just gonna freeze dry though. It's neutral on the Volcanion. It's not gonna do too much. Uh, it is gonna do a good, a good amount to this Mew though because we are specs. Uh, so that's 31% right there off. And um, let's see, what can we do here? I don't really want anything else to get burned. Uh, that would be an issue. Uh, I can go back into Hippo. We don't have Whirlwind though. I think I'm gonna go to Pidgeot actually. Um, because Pidgeot, uh, pretty much, he goes for the Defog, that's fine, yeah, exactly. So Pidgeot gains me momentum, because it is faster than this Mew. I can just easily go for the U-Turn right here, or I can go for the Hurricane, whatever I choose. But I think U-Turn's just a safer play all around because of the Rotom in the back. There we go. As he does go into it, that's going to do a clean 9%, so absolutely nothing. Uh, the thing is, my opponent does not have a Bullet Seed switch in, or a Spore switch in, for that matter, because his Mega Deancey is, well, his Deancey's not Mega Evolved yet, so... Uh, I could just go for the Spore as well. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Bullet Seed, though. It's going to do 30 on the first hit, 27 on the second. We're only going to get two hits off. He's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Uh, again, we do have Healing Wish in the back. So, uh, predicting his Pain Split right here. Uh, I think I have to go into... Probably Lapras. Lapras seems fine. He's going to uh, gonna gain a lot of HP off of me. Uh, he's actually going to go for the Volt Switch, so interesting. Okay, he's going to let his Rotom stay weak, which is awesome. Uh, it brings in his Deancey. Are we faster than Deancey? Uh, no, we're not. Okay. Um, I could just pull the Switch directly into Heatran here. I think that might be my best play. And then probably just Flash Cannon? Uh, now that Lapras is low, he can't really Pain Split on me. I only have 133 HP left. Yeah, Heatran seems pretty solid right here. Uh, as my opponent goes for the Mega Evolution. Goes for the Moon Blast. It does uh, lower our special attack, but that's still not going to be enough to take this Flash Cannon. He goes for the Protect. That's fine. I fully expect him to switch out here. So I'm actually going to pull a double, a very risky double, into my Latias right here. He should know that even a minus one Flash Cannon will be able to take him out. It's quite effective. It doesn't matter. So uh, he's going to uh, he's gonna switch out into his Volcanion. Perfect. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to get off a huge T-Bolt right here. This thing is weak to T-Bolt, so... Uh, he goes actually back into his Deancey, so this is still going to hurt. That does 48%, so very nice damage right there. Um, I can probably just go back into Heatran here. Uh, I don't see him going for the uh, for the Earth Power on a Latias that just went for Thunderbolt on him. So he's going to go for that. Uh, I'm going to go for the, um, the Flash Cannon here. If he protects, I'm just clicking Flash Cannon again because everything is weakened to the point that I want it to be. So uh, that's pretty good. I'm going to go for Flash Cannon again, see what he wants to do. Um... He might just Earth Power. No, he goes into Volcanion, so good play. Uh, I guess he didn't uh, learn from the last time. I could have just switched right back into Latias, but it doesn't matter. Uh, he's probably going to go for the Water move right here. I think I have to probably go into Breloom and Spore something. Uh, or I could just Bullet Seed, either one. Uh, I don't want Breloom to die, though, because it's my main Latias target uh, for, uh, for Healing Wish, because Mew is so low. So, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to go into Pidgeot, because... Uh, we should... Okay, he pulls the switch back into his Deancey, which is interesting. Uh, I'm going to go for the Hurricane right here and uh, try to get a Confusion off on this thing. He is going to live, obviously, because he's a Deancey. And uh, there we go. There goes Pidgeot. That's fine, though. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I can just go right back out into Heatran. And at this point, what I can do is I can actually go for the Stone Edge. Uh, and he doesn't seem to have any switches to that. So other than Terrakion, Terrakion's a pretty good switch. Uh, just going to go for the Flash Cannon again. And, uh, I'm running out of switches to Volcanion at this point, but it's okay. Go for the Flash right there. Gonna go for another one. Uh, see if he switches out. He does. Okay, he goes right into Volcanion. That's fine. Gonna go right back into Latias on this thing. If he wants to pull another double into, uh, into his Deancey, I'm probably just going to risk, uh, the Speed Tie at that point. Uh, it'd be a good play on his part, but we'll see what he wants to do. Uh, he does just go for the Sludge Bomb. Okay, so he's Toxic plus Sludge Bomb. He just wants all the poisons. And uh, I'm just going to T-Bolt again, because now his Deancey is weak enough to die, his Rotom gets to it KO'd, his Mew should get to it KO'd uh, by this plus Draco, so I'm just going to go for that. And if he wants to switch out, then he puts himself in even better range for a Breloom's uh, Bullet Seed, so. Uh, Deancey still dies to minus two uh, Thunderbolt, so I'm not sure if he's going to want to bring in his, uh, his Deancey on this. Uh, probably Terrakion's coming in, I could see that. Uh, that gives me a free switch back into Hippo, though, uh, and I go for Earthquake every time. Um, he does go into Deancey, though. Uh, now I don't want to risk the speed time. <laughs> I'm going into Heatran. Uh, it's pretty much safe. If he goes for the Diamond Storm, good on him. Uh, he is going to go for the Earth Power this time and knock us out. Okay, so good play. Uh, now I get to go into my, uh, Hippowdon here. Or my Breloom, actually. Breloom's not bad. Uh, I can get off a, uh, a Bullet Seed on something. 
I should be able to 2 hit KO his Rotom with uh, at least 2 to 3 hits. So, let's see. Uh, no, you know what? I'm gonna go Hippo. I'm just gonna go Hippo and I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake. I know I'm making like the uh, safest possible plays and it's losing me the game right now. Uh, but this game is nowhere close to lost. Um, we are able to take out the Deancey, which was the biggest threat to Latios, which is great. Uh, we did let our Hippodon get weakened, however. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to uh, probably slack off, I guess. Uh, if he's banded and he thinks he can take us out, that means Berloon comes in and gets off a Spore on something, which is nice. And then I can bring back, back my Berloon and just uh, start firing off some Bullet Seeds on everything. So that's not bad. Um, let's see. Let's go for the slack off. He goes for the close combat. It is going to be able to take us out, so that definitely tells me that he's banded. Uh, I'm going to go straight into Berloon here. And I'm going to get off a Spore. So this is, what, this is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, he still doesn't know what item I am. I don't know if he knows that I'm Scarfed. I'm going to Spore this Rotom right here. And uh, then we are going to go out into Lapras, I think, and click Freeze Dry or something like that. Uh, I think that's my best play. Absolutely. Uh, we are faster than most variants of Rotom as well, which is nice. As uh, Lapras comes back in on his Volcanion. All right. Uh, if he's Mono Sludge Bomb, he's not going to be able to touch me. I'm just going to go for the Freeze Dry right here. Uh, okay, so he is able to knock us out with that. That's fine. I can go into Latias now. I can go for the Thunderbolt. A uh, Life Orb Thunderbolt should be able to knock this thing out. We know the Terrakion's banded because it would have never taken out Hippowdon otherwise. Hippowdon is way, 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 way too bulky. Uh, Terrakion. Let's see. Terrak. Uh, OU. Choice Scarf. You'll see the Choice Scarf damage. That's 32 to 38, so there's no way. Uh, he goes into his Rotom. And uh, here... What do I want to do? I kind of want to switch into Breloom because I can't lose this just yet because if I do, then Volcanion wins, I think. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Uh, I think I have to Healing Wish right here and bring back my Breloom and just hope to get a Para on the uh, Volcanion with Force Palm. I think that's my play. Uh, Volcanion. Alternatively, I could just Bullet Seed. How much is Breloom's Bullet Seed doing to Volcanion? Because I know it has very good physical defense. Breloom, uh, OU Technician Attacker without the Life Orb. We are Jolly as well. Let's see. Bullet Seed is doing 42 to 51, actually. That's really, really good. Yeah, I'm clicking Healing Wish right now. And I'm just knocking out the rest of his team. This should be good enough. Um, I don't know if that's the calc, like, from all five hits. Uh, that's with three hits. Okay, let's see. Four hits and five hits. All right, so I think we have a chance to take him out. Uh, he's at 73. If we get five hits, we take him out. Or if we get any crits on any of them. Uh, also, does Berloom die to a Sludge Bomb? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, do I have to go for Force Palm right here? How much would Force Palm do? Force Palm. Uh, does 34 to 41, so not enough. I need to uh, basically pray for multiple hits. Uh, five hits on Volcanion with good rolls. So, uh, in comes Terrakion. We know you're banded. He's going to go for the quick attack to break a potential sash, which we are not. Uh, we need three hits right here. Okay, cool. Awesome. And now we need five on this Volcanion right here. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it. Or four with a crit would do it, uh, I think. I'm pretty sure. Or four with two crits, probably. So uh, this is the last game. I uh, made a lot of nice double switches on me, though. I put this deck of cards down. I was, I'm always doing something with my hands when I'm recording. It's, it's really a bad habit. See, now I'm drinking water. It's like, they're they're always somewhere. They're always on something. Uh, don't take that in a bad way, by the way. Uh, <laughs> let's go uh, Let's go for the bullet seed. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can knock out this Volcanion. He's faster than us. Wait a minute. He was Scarfed? No way. That's crazy. <laughs> he's actually Scarfed Volcanion. And he's speed tied with us, too. All right. Well, that's cool. Uh, I didn't see that uh, at any point in the game. He, he hid that very well. So let's move on to the next game. We are already at 14 minutes. Wow. Okay, that one lasted way too long. Uh, okay, so Pidgeot has a pretty good matchup here. Other than the Weavile. Weavile scares the heck out of me. Um, I think leading with Heatran is actually pretty safe considering the Weavile. And how much it does to my team. He should see that. So yeah, let's lead with Heatran. Start the timer on this guy. I think, he, I think leading with a Scarfer is just usually a very, very safe play. Because uh, most Scarfers have U-Turn or things like that. Uh, Volt Switch uh, to get initiative off of whatever's in. 
and um, otherwise they're able to outspeed most things. So uh, we'll see if uh, his Heatran might actually be scarfed as well, looking at the matchup. But we will see. We shall see. Um, if he leads with Scizor and I lead with Heatran, I'm probably just clicking Earth Power or Flash Cannon. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one yet because Lottie's a pretty safe switch as I could Earth Power the Scizor technically. Um, this guy's taking a while to pick his, uh, his lead. I'll actually pause it until he picks one, guys. We'll be right back. All right, so my opponent decided that he finally wanted to play. Um, Heatran versus Heatran. Obviously, uh, I'm in favor in this matchup simply because I'm Scarfed, unless he's, a, of, of course, also Scarfed. Um, he's probably Rocks, though. Actually, no, he has a Hippo. His Hippo would be Rocks, right? So, let's go into... Let's go into nothing. I have no switches to this thing. I have to Earth Power here, right off the bat. We're able to knock out his Heatran. There we go. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, so that that did it right there. Um, he gets a free switch into his Lottie now, but Lottie can't really touch me, so that's not a great play. He can go into his Hippo knowing that Earth Power won't knock him out. That's a good play. There we go. Um, now let's go into Lapras before the rocks go up. And uh, he goes for the Earthquake. That's fine. That does almost no damage. And now I'm just going to click Hydro Pump. Honestly, this is Specs Hydro Pump. Uh, Lottie can come in on me, obviously, uh, but I can throw out an Ice move. I think he's going to go Scizor. Uh, either Scizor or Sigilyph, if it's specially defensive. Something like that. We shall see, though. Uh, he actually forfeits the match right there. Okay, so my opponent didn't really want to play against Lapras, I guess. That's uh, that's one win, one loss. Let's try to bring it to, like, uh, three and one. Yeah, let's do three and one. Um, I'm pretty sure I can do that with this team. Mega Pidgeot hasn't really done anything until now, unless weakening the uh, Mega Deancey in game one. Um, let's see. Can he do anything in this game? I guess he can heat wave the. Uh, he can actually put on a lot of pressure. Uh, Pidgeot puts on a lot of pressure. In fact, I might just lead with it. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to lead with my Pidgeot. Um, if this guy is a, th this is the problem with taking other people's teams, <laughs> is that everybody knows yours. So, I'm just going to, um, probably hurricane here. Just hurricane. Uh, just catch the cleft key. We have heat wave, so we can heat wave this thing. I don't really want to get parried, though. That's the thing. Uh, I could just go hip out on. But I am just going to heat wave. I mean, I'm going to expect him to throw out a spike, expecting me to switch out into, uh, into hip out on. We'll see how that works out. He actually has Toxic, which is even better. Uh, we're going to get off a huge heat wave right here. And uh, I'm expecting him to either switch into his Latios right here, which I don't really mind, or his Azumarill. Either one is fine, actually. If he gets off a spike, that's okay. I'd rather this Klefki gone early. There we go. Awesome. So now we can pretty much just drop Dracos on my opponent's team. I just need to weaken the Bisharp a little bit, uh, make sure it's not AV. And uh, then we should be good to go. Berloom puts in a lot of work as well with uh, Scarf Force Palm. <laughs> it doesn't outspeed Lopany, unfortunately, but uh, that's okay. I'm gonna go into Hippo here, predicting him to just go for the Fake Out, because I haven't switched out yet, so he might think I'm insane. Um, he does go for the Fake Out, awesome. He gets a crit right there, it's not a big deal. I'm actually just gonna go for the, uh, I'm gonna go for the Quake. Predicting his Azumarill, there we go, okay, awesome. So we catch that, we're able to hit that for a lot of damage, get him under half. Uh, he's not Citrus, which means he's more than likely Banded. I uh, could just go into Lapras here. He's probably just going to knock, though, honestly. Um, let's go for Stealth Rocks. Uh, predicting his knock. All right, he goes for Play Rough. That's awesome. We can live that, definitely. Uh, go get up our rocks right there, which are going to be extremely important for weakening the Landorus and the Latios. Uh, I'm just going to go into... Actually, I should probably calc that. Hold on a second. Um, a zoom reel. I'm pretty sure that's Banded uh, versus our Hippo. Uh, mixed Wall. Yeah, that's definitely Banded. So we can go into Heatran here pretty safely, uh, especially that we're Scarfed. He might predict that and go into Lando, uh, but I've been making predictions almost every turn, so he's not going to predict this turn. He's just going to go for Play Rough, and now I get off a Flash Cannon, no matter what. Nothing can come in on this. Not I, I, I don't care that Bisharp resists it. It's it's not a re Bisharp is not a resist to anything, guys. If you think Bisharp resists anything, it doesn't. The only thing it resists is Psychic, because it's immune. Everything else, no. <laughs> He's gonna go into Bisharp, you're gonna see right here, 32%. That's not a resist. That shouldn't be doing that much. Um, I can pretty safely go into Berloom right here and just get off a huge Force Palm on something, potentially paralyze. Goes for the knockoff, he is able to get rid of our Scarf, but it's not a big deal. Um, I could go for the Spore right here, which is exactly what I'm gonna do, dodging the Sucker Punch, as he does go for it. We are Spore though, and uh, now we can get off a Force Palm. 
and try to catch the Lando on the switch, potentially paralyze it, which would, would be great. Um, Latios as well is great to para. He does go into the Lando, and uh, we'll see if we can get the para right here. It is 30%, it's basically Scald. Uh, he is Rocky Helmet though, and we are not able to get the para. And now, uh, I'm in a little bit of a situation here. Uh, I can always healing wish this back up uh, later as well. We did lose our Scarf, so it did lose a lot, a lot, a lot of its uh, viability in this matchup. Zoomerill's at 38, Bisharp's asleep, so the only things I have to worry about are Lopini in this thing. Uh, I'm not really worried about his Latios, to be honest. Um, I think right here, um, do I need Hippo for anything else? I mean, being that this thing is Rocky Helmet, I think I can, uh, maybe not. Let's go to Lapras. I think Lapras is my best all-around play, uh, because if he goes into a Zoomerill, uh, then I can just freeze dry it, which is awesome. If he stays in and goes for rocks, then we dodge the rocks, which is good as well. Uh, as he goes for the stealth rocks, awesome. And uh, Stone Edge doesn't kill me, so I can pretty much freely... I think Ice Beam is my better play here, uh, just because the Azumarill is so low. It comes in on rocks, it takes a Specs Ice Beam, and it dies to the next one. It might even die to the first one, honestly, because uh, Azu's not the bulkiest of Pokemon. Uh, he does go into Bisharp, though, uh, to take the Ice Beam. This is going to be a 2 hit KO, easily. Uh, he hasn't burned off any sleep either, so I can just uh, Ice Beam to knock this thing out. It is gone, and now he no longer has Sleep Fodder, which means I may want to bring back my Breloom. Uh, we will see, though. Our Heatran does outspeed Lopunny, which is great, as we can just Flash Cannon, Flash Cannon, Flash Cannon, uh, pretty much all the way home. Um, Ice Punch doesn't take out Lottie either, which is nice. I think here I just go for um, the Breloom Sack or the Hippo. I think the Hippo Sack is better. Um, I can come back in on... Well, now Stealth Rocks are up, so I'm going to have to get rid of them. With uh, with Latias, I didn't think about that. Alright. So Hippo goes down right here to the uh, to whatever move he clicks. He goes for the High Jump Kick. Good play. Um, I can go into Breloom now. Uh, no, not Breloom, sorry. Heatran is what I meant. And now I can just click, click Flash Cannon again. We know that his Landorus is not Scarfed. Um... I could just click Overheat as well, I lose nothing. I think that might be my play. Yeah, I kind of have to, because if his Lopunny stays in, uh, knowing that it can take a, a Flash Cannon, then I lose my Heatran, and I can't lose this Heatran just yet. I need it alive. So, uh, Lottie actually, Lottie S deals with the rest of his team really nicely. He goes into a zoom roll. it's not going to live this Overheat. Should I land it? Which I don't. Um, I think we go Lottie here. Honestly, I need this Heatran alive. Lapras is not a bad play either. Yeah, I'm going to go Lapras uh, because I can't risk staying in on this thing, unfortunately. Uh, if he knocks me out, cool, then I get a free switch in a Lottie. Uh, he does go for the Jet, though. We are Water Absorb. Wait, are we supposed to be Water Absorb? Hold on a second. What other ability does this thing have? Uh, I think we're supposed to be... No, Water Absorb makes sense. Yeah, yeah, all right, cool. Uh, and now I can just go for the Freeze Dry right here. And uh, we'll be able to hit something very hard. He goes into Lando to sack it off. That's amazing. That's awesome. All right. Well, goodbye, Lando. Um, I can sack off my uh, my Breloom here to the Lopunny. And, yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Lopunny doesn't get pursued either, so this is fine. Uh, the Sand's about to end. I actually need to calc something. I need to know exactly how much Flash Cannon does to this thing. Uh, Heatran. Heatran, especially, uh, no, Scarf. Flash Cannon does 49 to 58. Yeah, it's nowhere near enough. He's gonna go for the high jump kick on Breloom. I just wish it would have died to hazards right there. That would have been amazing. Uh, now I have to go Heatran once again. And uh, now I die to the next round of uh, hazards. So I have to be very, very careful here. Uh, and I also have to go for the overheat once again. Basically, I need my Latias to come in for free. So that would be on the Azumar. And then I need to defog. I need to bring in back in my Heatran after this Lopunny has wasted its fake out, and then I can start Flash Cannon. Hopefully he stays in here, that would be amazing. Um, you could just let his Azu drop at this point though. He doesn't lose anything from doing that. Uh, how much is our Lapras 63, okay. Yeah, he is gonna go into Azu. He is gonna get hit by the Overheat this time, which is awesome. Uh, we need to sack something to take the fake out uh, as well. So I think that sack is going to be Pidgeot. I think, um, well, Pidgeot outspeeds the, um, the Latios, so if everything goes wrong, yeah, no, I'm sacking Lapras, that makes the most sense, we're gonna sack Lapras right here, uh, he's gonna go for the return, 
And basically what I have to do is, um, Latias definitely lives a return unless he crits me. And I need to go for the Healing Wish into Heatran. Uh, go for the Overheat, I think. Is that my play? Hold on. Is it better to just Defog? I have to think about this very, very hard. It might be better just to Defog. Alternatively, actually, what I can do is I can drop a Draco. It'll take out the Lopany. Uh, if his Latios comes in, I still have a chance to speed tie with it, if it's not HP fire, which his team seems like it would be because it doesn't handle... Um, well, it does handle Ferrothorn relatively well. He has Lopany, but like that doesn't really want to take Iron Barb's damage. Uh, it would make sense for him to have in Power Fire on the Latios. So I think I have to go Latios here, and what I have to do is drop a Draco, no matter what. No matter what, I have to drop a Draco. He goes for return. We live that on 29. We go for the Draco. We're able to knock out the Lopany, which is amazing. And the reason I did that, guys, is because I have U-Turn on my Pidgeot. So basically what's going to happen right here is I'm going to go for the uh, Draco Meteor. Just to make sure that he doesn't... Uh, okay, so he wins the Speed Tie, I guess. Yeah, okay, he's Life Orb. Uh, I go into Pidgeot. And I go for the U-Turn, which I don't think I've revealed yet. No, I haven't. Okay, cool. I go for the U-Turn. I switch into uh, Heatran, and he knocks me out with something. I don't know why it's not going into Heatran, it should right here. Uh, either he knocks me out or, or he roosts, if he roosts he wins. So we, we will see, he goes to the Draco, awesome, okay so we go back into Pidgeot and now we Hurricane and we knock this thing out. Uh, we should be able to, from 369 attack, this is a base 110 move. This should kill. Yep, there we go, awesome, okay, so we get the kill on the Latios, and that's game three done, so we are now two and one. Let's move on to the next game, that was a really close one. I'm glad I played it the way I did at the end there. Uh, I knew I had to knock out the Lopany because I didn't. Ha I only had one thing left that could outspeed it, and it was Heatran, and if I locked myself in Overheat with Heatran, then I really lost uh, against the Latios, so. I mean, it could have potentially not been able to hit me, and I could have gotten a crit on Overheat, but the better play there was just always to Draco Meteor. Always, always, always. Okay, this guy is really, really... Really weak to Heatran. <laughs> this guy's like, MV, is that you? Almost. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, my opponent has another Mega Deancey, which is, of course, a problem. Uh, Starmie poses a threat to uh, Hippowdon, uh, but not really to Lapras, actually. I can switch in on water moves. Let's lead with Hippo. I think it's my best overall lead. He basically has to go... Um, he has to lead against... Breloom against me to, to really scare me. He leads with the um, with the Skarmory, so I'm going to not get up rocks. I'm actually just going to go straight into Lapras, I think. Because Lapras gets off a huge hit on something. Uh, if I go for Freeze Dry. That might be my play. He knows the team, though, so he's going to expect that. He's not going to go directly into Starm. If anything, he would go into Deancey first. Or... I don't know. I guess Bisharp. Bisharp makes sense. Um, yeah, let's go into Lapras. The reason I'm, I'm switching out is because I don't want to get my rocks up while he gets his up. I need to defog because they hurt my team a lot more. So I'd rather not get mine up this early. Uh, I'd much rather just go for the Hydro Pump. If he whirlwinds me out, that's awesome. He's brought down to Sturdy from this Hydro Pump. Uh, it is Specs, of course, coming off of uh, 442 attack. It's basically a little bit stronger than Scarf Keldeo's Hydro Pump. So as long as he's not sped F, we should be able to knock this thing down to its Sturdy. And uh, we should be able to get a huge hit off on something, regardless. Again, I don't think he's going to go directly into Starmie just because of the fact that I could freeze dry. It's always an option. So, uh, and plus Starmie, if it's defensive, doesn't do anything to me. It can't hit me at all. It can hit me with Psyshock, but that's it. Uh, maybe Toxic, but... Anyway, um, him knowing the team is, is a huge disadvantage for us. I knew I'd run into somebody. <laughs> <laughs> MV is immediately that was that was so fast like MV has a, a pretty good following actually I really like him he's a, he's a great battler he's a great guy really nice often responds to stuff he's uh, he's great with his fan base and uh, I aspire to be uh, quite like him one day uh, we missed the hydro pump unfortunately I'm gonna go for another one I don't have a choice at this point he knows what move I'm uh, I'm locked into um, I can't believe he's fast <laughs> he's actually running speed on this thing because normally it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be faster than Lapras. He's also running quite a bit of attack. Oh, he's Custap, isn't he? He would be Custap with that kind of spread. He's running a lot of attack because that would have never done that much, and he's running a lot of speed as well. He might even be adamant uh, on this thing. But uh, yeah, I'm just going for Hydro Pump again. I need this thing sturdy, broken, 
no matter what. <laughs> I love the nickname, I just realized what it says. Squad! <laughs> this guy is a huge fan of the Heat of Squad. Alright, come on. Hit your move, bro. Um, like I said, I'm gonna defog these rocks away later, so I'm not too concerned about it. It goes for another Iron Head that's gonna bring me down to 18. I am gonna land this Hydro Pump, it's gonna bring him down to sturdy. And I don't expect him to have Roost. I do expect him to have a Custap Berry, though. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into uh, Heatran on this turn. Because it also catches a switch into, like, Breloom or whatever. Uh, we are going to switch out into Heatran. He's going to eat his Custap Berry up. He's going to go for the Brave Bird. That's going to do a lot of damage, but he is going to knock himself out to Recoil, which is awesome. He also should know that we are Scarfed on this Heatran. So Starmie is by far his best play, seeing as he weakened our... Um, our Lapras down to the point where it can't switch in on rocks. Uh, if he's offensive Starmie, then that's a little bit more of an issue, but I'll deal with it. I have uh, Pidgeot in the back, which pretty much just fires off a Hurricane every time it comes in. Uh, that's another big reason I need rocks gone. So uh, I need to make a decision real quick on whether I want to keep Lapras or not. And looking at the matchup, I don't think I do. I think Hippowdon's a lot more important for the Bisharp, for the Deancey, and for the Talonflame, if anything. So I am just going to sack Lapras right here. I am then going to... I also want to scout what kind of Starmie this is. Uh, he goes for the Scald, so he should not be um, offensive. Because offensive normally runs Hydro Pump. As we are going to be able to bring on our Latias right here. Um, and I don't really want to go for the uh, for the Defog because his uh, Bisharp's around. He knows I'm Defog as well. So I might just switch out into Hippo or Breloom. I think Breloom is my best play. Yeah, I'm going to double into Breloom on his Bisharp. Which is the correct play. There we go. And uh, if I want to predict the Talon Flame, I could go for the Stone Edge, but I think uh, he said nice tape. All right. Uh, <laughs> don't know what that means, but I'm just going to go for the Force Palm right here. He does bring in his own Breloom to take the Force Palm. That's going to do a lot. Uh, we're not going to get the Para right there. That's fine. Uh, I can fully expect a Mock Punch to come off here. I'm just going to go for another Force. And uh, like I said, this Breloom is kind of expendable. Um, I don't think I said that actually, but it is. Uh, he goes for the Mach Punch. I can always come back, back in on Starmie later and Bullet Seed, um, and pretty much get a kill other than on Talonflame. So I can keep this if I want to, which wouldn't be a terrible play. Uh, he probably goes into Talon right here, as he does. And, um, I think Heatran is actually my play, so I don't get burned. Do I need Heatran? I kind of do need Heatran. Uh, but I think Pidgeot is my win condition no matter what. But let's go into Heatran. Let's see what he wants to do. He should know we're Stone Edge. He goes for the Brave Bird. Uh, that doesn't do a lot. Well, it does over half, but uh, over half of what we had left. Uh, now I'm going to go Hippo. I'm going to keep my Heatran in the back, just so I can get off a of Flash Cannon later or whatever else I want to go for. Uh, now that I know his, uh, his Talonflame is not banded, basically, uh, he's, pretty, he's not going to go for the Wisp here. Uh, I'm going to take 34% from that. That's not too much. That's okay. And... Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to set up rocks, honestly. And if he wants to go into Starmie and spin, that's fine. I'm just going to click Earthquake. Uh, he's going to go for the Swords Dance, actually. His last Brave Bird did 33, which means he won't knock us out here. Uh, I can either go for the Slack Off, or I can go for the Stone Edge. And I think Stone Edge is my better play. Uh, the problem is I have a hard time dealing with Deancey from here on out. Actually, if I get rid of this thing... I healing wish into Heatran, it becomes a huge threat. I'm gonna go for the edge. Hopefully we don't miss like we did the Hydro Pump. That would really suck. But um, that would actually lose us the game, in fact. It's gonna take a lot of recoil right there. We are gonna land the edge, luckily. We are gonna get rid of this Talonflame. Brings in his Deancey. Um, he's faster than us, obviously. But I can go for the Slack Off right here. And uh, take this Moon Blast. And now I can bring in Breloom again, which is Scarfed. Uh, I'm playing another match other than this one. I can't concentrate. Date. <laughs> concentrate. <laughs> alright, it's fine. I'm just gonna tell this guy it's fine. I am recording, but it's alright. I'm recording. But it's okay. Shameless plug. Uh, shameless plug. Sorry about that, guys. Alright. So, um, Bullet Seed. There we go. Scarf Breloom is able to take out the Deancey, which is amazing. And uh, now he goes into Bisharp, which is kind of scary. But what I can do here is I can switch into Latias on the Swords Dance. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to just switch into Latias on the Swords Dance or the um, or the uh, the Sucker Punch, 
and uh, he actually goes for knockoff, so great play. Great, great, great play. That was really, really good. Um, Pidgey Hall takes a sucker, right? For sure. There's no way it doesn't. Pidgey Opt. Uh, Mega Pidgey Opt, all out attacker from a Bisharp. You have decent defenses, right? 80, 83. That's okay. Uh, OU Swords Dan. Sucker Punch does 64 to 76. Okay. Um, yeah, we gotta go back into Berloom. I don't know why he knocked off. Maybe he doesn't have Sucker Punch. I doubt it, though. Uh, knockoff was his best play, though, because I wasn't going for Bullet Seed either way. Uh, he's saying stuff in the chat. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> uh, in fact, what I'm gonna do here, just to... I'm, I'm gonna play all fronts. Yeah, I'm gonna Spore. That's my best play. That is my best play. Absolutely. I have to play off the fact that he'll stay asleep. Um, because he went first. He didn't burn off the initial turn. So I can now go into, uh, Heatran, force this thing out. Go for the overheat, let his Starmie take me out, and then bring in, uh, uh, bring in Pidgeot. So now I have to go for overheat. Uh, Earth Power works too, though. Uh, overheat's safer. Uh, no, Earth Power's safer because if he takes the, uh, Life Orb hit anyway, he dies. So, I think this might even take him out just straight away. You might want to save this. We'll see. Um, I have to go into Breloom after, I think. He wakes up, gets off a Sucker Punch, so that sucks. All right, but we know we know that he knows that we are Spore. <laughs> so, uh, I gotta click it again. I have to. I don't have a choice. Even if he goes into Starmie, I have to click it again. And then, uh, and then we'll play around a little bit. We'll see. He's gonna go for Sucker again. I'm gonna get off another Spore right here. I'm gonna go into Pidgeot, because I have to. And now I have to Heat Wave. And I have to hope that he doesn't wake up on the first turn this time. Uh, I want to see what he said back here. Uh, don't upload this, please. Uh, my reps, already Garbo. Also, link me your YouTube. I like YouTubers. Every YouTuber has a different, unique way of recording, like Tony Flygon. So that's pretty interesting for me. Awesome. Okay, cool. So I'll, uh, I'll link this guy, uh, my YouTube channel. Keeping it icy. Um, all right, so again, it's the same game plan. Uh, I'm going to U-turn. Hopefully he doesn't recover. <laughs> yes, I'm here. I'll link you after I'm done. You're my last battle. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we're going to go for the U-turn right here. And, um, yeah, I have to, man. I have to upload this. <laughs> well, schedule and things. <laughs> No, 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 you can't, you can't just go. No, dude. Don't. <laughs> Come on, no, he can't just forfeit like that. Oh, man, he's hitting X. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it's going up either way. You really lose nothing by trying here. But uh, it's all good. Uh, we are able to take a, a three and one. It's a lo much longer episode, but uh, I really enjoyed using this team. It's really cool. We did get that one unfortunate loss, but uh, it's all good. We were able to pick up three wins, get a little bit of uh, ranking here. We're at 1656, not as high as I'd like to be, but uh, that's going to be it for the episode, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, check out my Twitter and my Facebook, as always, in the description, and I will see you guys later. Ciao.